Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm sorry if that intro was a little overwhelming, but I wanted to find a way to convey just a little bit of what I went through growing up. When I was about 13, 14 years old, I was diagnosed with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD for short. For those of you who don't know what ADHD is and how it can affect you, ADHD can make it difficult to focus or be attentive. You're just kind of bouncing around everywhere, never really being able to just sit down and focus on the task at hand. It can also make you very impulsive, so you just do or say whatever comes to mind without any real thought or consideration for other people. Or at least that's how ADHD affected me growing up. It can be a little different for other people with ADHD, but the symptoms are more or less the same. But over time, I've found a way to become more self-aware of my ADHD and allow myself to become a more focused and overall happier person. So today I'm going to list off five things that I did to stay focused and better manage my ADHD. The first thing that I did, and a lot of you may not like to hear this, especially parents, was getting prescription medication. If you believe that you are someone who is struggling because of your ADHD or think that your child could benefit from prescription medication, then you should consult your doctor and I would start off with a low dose. To be honest with you, I don't even take my prescription anymore. But because I took these when I was young, it helped me identify my symptoms and control myself better whenever I stopped taking them. Exercise is a great way to relieve stress and stay focused. No, I don't mean just picking things up and putting them down. But I enjoy that too. You can do a short workout at home, maybe go for a jog, or whatever this is. All of these exercises can help reduce your stress and help keep you focused and positive throughout your day. I love to read. Something about curling up with a book is almost therapeutic. My mind is always wondering and trying to think of a million things at once, but whenever I dig into a new book, I get lost into the story and my imagination runs wild. Afterwards, when I'm done and set the book down to do other things, my mind is a lot clearer. Stay organized. Let me say that again. Stay organized. Keeping your space clean and organized is a great way to reduce clutter and stress. Another thing I like to do is write down a daily plan. Writing down all of your goals for the day can be a real savior if you get overwhelmed and can't remember what you were supposed to do. That and it creates a sense of accomplishment whenever you check them off. So nice. It may sound ridiculous, but having someone who you can really communicate to is so important. Even if all they do is listen and nod their head, being able to confide in and vent all of your frustrations to someone can be extremely beneficial to not only your ADHD, but your mental and emotional health. Well, that's it. Those are the five things that I did to reduce and manage my ADHD. If you follow any of these tips, I have no doubt that you will be able to better control your ADHD and live life just a little bit easier. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of the future content that I have planned. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Wow. Yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me. Wow. Please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah, swear to God I'm with it